Uh, my name is Mark Howe. I work for uh, various people. I've done a lot of work over the years for Community Music East, who are based in Norwich. Uh, it gave me a lot of experience working with a wide variety of people, working special needs, in prisons, running all sorts of activities, everything from singing to percussion workshops, song making, rock work, all sorts of things. And doing quite a lot of junk work because I like the accessibility uh, that it offers, the, the, the fact that it's a very inclusive form. You don't need to be able to think of yourself as a musician to, to access this stuff. You don't need to be able to play to a, to a high standard because there isn't one when you're hitting a barrel or, or hitting a pipe with a flip-flop. Each uh, team should have a, a pipe and a flip-flop and you're working in pairs. Uh, so it's as much about exploration, finding sounds and rhythms that interest on an individual basis as anything else really. I, 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 I think it's, um, it's called playing music. We, call it, we, we refer to it as playing, playing music. We play music. We play music together and it is about play. It's, a, it's as much about exploration and finding things out for yourself as anything. Okay, one more minute, then we'll have a little share. One of the things I always say when I'm training people is take care. And it, the take care is really powerful because you have to take care of yourself, you have to take care of the participants, you have to take care of the environment, um, make, sure, you know, make sure instruments are safe and uh, the environment is safe and that people are um, having the kind of experience that you want them to have, uh, as well as the experience that they're expecting to have. So there's always that. So I think take care is quite a good catch-all for that. Do you want to feel okay about making mistakes? Good. I would also say, I mean, the second thing is to negotiate the learning. Negotiate with the people that you're working with. Work out what their interests are, what motivates them, what they're capable of, what they're interested in, and try and blend that with actually what you've got to offer and the time that you've got in which to do stuff with them. All right, thank you. Anyway, I'm having fun. I think one of the things that I'm interested in is accessibility. I would call it accessibility, and it is, it, it is inclusion. It's about including people and pr kind of providing or promoting somehow an opportunity for a circumstance for people to, to participate uh, in, in ways that they perhaps haven't before. There are no rules, really, to playing jam jar lids. You kind of explore, and then it's a very simple matter of joining in one at a time, for example, um, setting up a very, very kind of simple rhythm or structure in which people can then explore the music that's happening. A lot of it comes down to just having fun and again, play, uh, listening, uh, share, sharing, swapping, trying, trying things out and actually being allowed to, uh, to, to have fun and experiment and explore. Uh, there's another word I, the last few years I've been using a lot and that's passion. Passion for music, excitement, has to be communicated, I think. Yeah, it just sound nice, you can elevate it. D the music will sell itself, the act, M music is an activity, it's a, it's, a, it's a doing thing. Yeah, there's listening, but actually the act of making music is extraordinarily powerful and the music will take care of itself. But the passion for that somehow needs to be communicated. And whether that's just having fun with people or whether it's with certain people, they need the right level of challenge. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, communicate that passion somehow. I think it's really important to reflect, to reflect on what's happening in a room or in a situation at the time um, and, and keep uh, adjusting what you're doing. Keep uh, responding to the need or to the change. Uh, don't be afraid to change a plan, for example. Then again, reflect afterwards with other people if you can, but participants yep. as well as colleagues, and think about what it is you're doing and how you can improve it. Be alert. Yeah. <laughs> and I think the, 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 the final thing I say is, is, is to have fun. There has to be an element of fun that, that, keep, that, keep, that helps to keep people engaged. 
and that develops the relationship between you as the practitioner, as the teacher, and the, 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 the student or the participant. Only people wearing glasses. Fun is, fun is key, particularly with younger people. One, two, three, everybody now. Three, 